live from PA TV studios. It's the Lyle Style Show. And now, the man with the most style, it's your host, Lyle Style. Hey, welcome to a beautiful start to the Lyle Style Show. You know what? I have a wonderful guest. She's online right now. Her name is Portia Coleman, RB singer, actress, everything. So we're going to talk to her right now, and we're going to, she's going to share about what's going on with her. Hey, hey, Portia. Yes, hello. Hey. How you doing? This is Lyle Style uh, t talking to you live on the Lyle Style Show. Thank you for doing this. No problem. How are you? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. I mean, you are a beautiful lady. Uh, we know about your R&B singing and whatnot and everything. And so to, to get these, get my audience to find a little bit about you, we kind of want you to run a little bit about how you get started in, in the music business and, and, and everything. Yeah, of course. Um, well, I was born and raised in, in L.A., and I went to Hollywood High School, so... It's funny, but I was kind of born into it, <laughs> if I have to say, which I'm, you know, blessed and fortunate. My family is from L.A., so mm -hmm. I started acting when I was, like, seven or eight, did a couple extra jobs, and then I started doing commercials, and I got bumped up to principal, and I did, like, three or four commercials in one year, so I was able to join SAG very, very early, and I've been doing TV and film ever since, and then music, I was always, always, always singing, but I started getting into the studio when I was about 14 started doing a lot of recordings, uh, some voiceover work, demo stuff. And then uh, a couple years later, it ended up with me having a song with Three Six Mafia, and I have records with um, a lot of other rappers that I have that are not even released yet. So I'm just, you know, deciding when and how I want to do everything. So I was born into it, I guess. <laughs> oh, what a girl. That, I mean, you're, yeah. a talented, you're a talented young lady, you know, and, and um, I, I really appreciate you doing this. I know you're really busy out there in California. And, um, and, you know, we want you to get out here to Iowa City and come and do a concert for us one of these days. Yeah, absolutely. I would love to. I love to travel. So no problem. As soon as things get up and running, running I, I will definitely come there. I have a TV show that's debuting, too, starting September 14th on Fox. So oh, for okay. all the listeners. Yeah, what's yeah. the name of it? What's the name of the show? It's called uh, Hollywood Today Live, and it's an entertainment show with myself and three other hosts. And we'll be on an hour every day starting September 14th for uh Probably a year, uh, up to three years, if they keep the show on. So I'm really excited. Oh, girl, with yourself, with your beautiful face, you get you you you, you gotta be <laughs> oh, off for you. you gotta be off for a long time. You know, um, I mean, I'm 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 a little awestruck with you because I look at your credentials and what you get. I mean, here you you've been on uh, Soul Train 2013 Soul Train mm -hmm. Awards, um, uh, VET Awards. I mean, how how would those things? Uh, like you, I get you got your chance to talk to different actors and different people in the entertainment business. Uh, yeah, um, I love doing award shows. Um, all those award shows that I did, um, I did as a dancer actually. So mm -hmm. like the American Music Awards I did with Kanye, uh, Soul Train Awards I did with uh, G Unit and Diddy, and then Soul Train Awards I actually did with uh, Jay Quan and Pete Pablo. So I've done a lot of stuff that people have seen. They probably just didn't know it was me all the time. Mm -hmm. Like I was either on the Parkers, doing an appearance there as a guest star, and then I'd be on a war show dancing, and, you know, people don't always compute until they kind of say, wait a minute, I recognize this girl, when they look <laughs> everything up. <laughs> it kind of all clicks, so where they're like, oh, my gosh, that's how I know her. Wow, that, that, that's a wonderful thing. You're, you know, now, wait, is your, you said your family is in the entertainment business, or? Yeah, well, actually, when my brother was a professional athlete, he played, played football um, early, like in the 90s, and then he's retired and does real estate, and then my mom, she's one of eight, so they actually were very uh, popular overseas and um, pretty mm -hmm. much, I mean, a lot of places. It was different because now we have internet and social media, so when they were rocking mm -hmm. in the 70s, you know, it's like they have certain footage, you know, audio and stuff like that, but there's not as much visual footage as there could have been, you know, like people have now. So, um, yeah, they really did their thing, so I was fortunate to come from a family that really already knew about entertainment, and um, yeah, I'm just carrying carrying the legacy on, I guess. Oh, well, <laughs> yes, and it's a yeah. wonderful thing, too, young lady. And now, you. your commercials you did, I, I noticed you've been using Smart smart Car, uh, mm -hmm. Miller Lite, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Burlington Co. Factory? Yeah, yeah, the, um, the Burlington Co. Factory commercials that I did were um, like a string of commercials for the Soul Train Awards, actually, mm -hmm. in Las Vegas about two or three years ago. I did it two years in a row, so 
Burlington Coat Factory, uh, did like mini commercials where I'd go into the store and try on different outfits to see what I wanted to actually wear for the award show coming up. And then the Miller Lite commercial was really popular um, about two years ago during all the NBA finals, you know, for basketball. Every other commercial was my Miller Lite commercial, mm-hmm. myself and Katie Albert and another actor, Bashir Sylvain, who was in it. So it's like I'm the bartender and he wants a drink and, you know, I'm just like, he's too corny. So when he wants yeah. to come back and be more mature, then he can come back and get a drink. So it was a really cool <laughs> commercial. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that young lady my goodness and so so what are now now in music videos so touch a little bit of music videos you've been in uh a lot of music music videos and live performances with different three three six mafia yeah mm-hmm. uh you've been on the jay leno uh, show yeah yeah the jay leno um i did jay leno and jimmy kimmel i did those actually multiple times mm-hmm. and i did it for uh, well i did it all differently so when i did jay leno i actually did it as like an actress and a dancer because I was in a couple of the sketches you know Jay Leno of course is a comedian so a lot of times they will go to people's houses and they like to recreate music videos Mm -hmm. so a couple of times I was you know in the houses when he was creating the videos as a dancer and then another time I was there which had to be the best time is when I uh, was performing with Gym Class Heroes a very popular like rock Slash hip hop band. Oh, wow, well, yeah, I like They that. have a song. Yeah, they have a song with Estelle. And, um, you know, Estelle, of course, is overseas, and I'm really good friends with Travis McCourt in the group. And uh-huh. he said, Come do the song with us. So me and him are, are rocking on the episode of Jay Leno. And then uh, Jimmy Kimmel, I did a couple times as well as a dancer and an actor. And then a good friend of mine, Tyga, had a song that um, was on his first album, and he needed a girl. And I was the girl for that. So. Yeah, I've I've been on a lot of the stages in different formats. Oh wow, that's wonderful. Now, hey, now you know I could see you doing uh, the Fox that uh, Fox uh, series uh, with um, uh, what's the name? Uh, Empire. Lucy? Yeah, 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 Empire. <laughs> Girl, I can yes, see you doing that. Yes, I would love to. Uh, Empire see... is amazing. Oh my um, goodness, I love the show. I definitely yeah. can see you doing that. Yeah, the show. Um, I think is. I mean, of course, groundbreaking for one because yes. I think it's you know, really, you know, in a way shocking that Fox was willing to take such a risk on a, on a edgy show like that. Mm-hmm. You know, you have Empire, you know, which is blasted onto the scene, but then you also have a power show, you know, like mm-hmm. 50 Cent, who's on stars. And the shows are definitely getting a lot edgier these days, and I find it, you know, intriguing, but it's also very cool because, you know, society always changes. I mean, you can look all the way from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s to today. Things are changing. So for Fox to take a risk on a show that is edgy like that, I think is groundbreaking. And I would love to, you know, appear on a show like that. And I, and I always like to play things that are, you know, not necessarily, necessarily expected. You know, I love how Lee Daniels writes in superstars that they're never playing themselves. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. Mary J. Blige is not herself. Oh, yes. When you saw Patty LaBelle, nobody is playing themselves. And I and I like that. You know, everybody is, is acting and really um, mm-hmm. delving into the role that they're given. So, absolutely. Daniels, if you're listening, I would love to audition yeah, That's Empire. right. That's right. <laughs> Get this girl on Empire. Get this girl on Empire. Yes, Get... absolutely. I'd <laughs> yeah. love to, to, to come in and, like, shake things up and, like, be the love interest of, mm-hmm. like, uh, Bashir Gray or something who plays Yaz and me and Naomi Campbell have a cat fight or yeah. something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to do that. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. And, you know, if you get on there, I'm going to try to get on get, get a part just to be with you. Yeah. <laughs> I think, you know, Empire is a show where, I mean, and they tape in Chicago, which is pretty cool. So yeah. they don't even shoot in California. Oh, but they, they don't? Audition. No, they, they audition, you know, of course, nationwide for depending on what parts there are. But overall, they audition in Los Angeles and locally in Chicago. So if people are in Chicago and you guys want to be an extra on Empire, try to get with an agency. That's it might right. Be a walk on. Exactly, exactly. Now, I want to touch a little bit about one of your songs. You got a song called I Get Lonely. Is that one of your new songs or? <laughs> No, you know, actually, no, no. I Get Lonely is actually a Janet Jackson song that I've done covers of. And okay. It's so funny because I did it a couple of years ago at a showcase, and I remember uploading it to YouTube when I was on MySpace, and mm-hmm. it got so many views because oh it's just me and an acoustic version yeah. with a friend of mine. Um, so his name is Tim, and he's a one of one of a major producer. I mean, he's producer Boys to Men for I mean anybody you could think of. Mariah, him and Tim and Bob were doing a showcase, mm-hmm. so you know we're like let's do you know a cover song as well. And Janet Jackson, I'm a big fan of, and I feel like I get so lonely. So it was her birthday. 
a couple of weeks ago. So a lot of times on Throwback Thursday, I'll post it, and people are just like, oh, my gosh, you rock mm-hmm. that Janet song. So, no, mm-hmm. I just love her artistry, and I just always like to pay, you know, homage to a lot of artists who were, of course, before our time that really set the, the precedence for music. Wow. Now, now tell me something. Mean, now, you've been in entertainment like business and music business. Now, I mean, now, the t- for our artists, you know, I mean, if you, there's an expiring young actresses, actors, whatever out there, and, and, and people that got talent in the music. How do you? Th- how would? What would you tell them? How they get started out there? They got dreams just like you do, and and want to pursue something like that. How? What, what advice would you give them? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, for starters, you have to be. Um you have to be committed and dedicated. It's not going to happen overnight. And I think so many people just, you know, see somebody on TV and really think that this might have been their one breakout role. And mm-hmm. not saying that that doesn't happen because, I mean, you can even look at Empire. A lot of people that we're seeing are new faces outside of Terrence and Taraji. But, mm-hmm. you know, people are grinding, you know, before they actually make it. So if you want to get into business, do your homework. you got to start taking classes. If you want to act, get in acting classes. If you want to be a musician, start taking music lessons and figuring out, you know, what your voice and your sound is. Or if you want to play instruments, mm-hmm. then you should be, you know, taking lessons at that. You know, and then also put yourself in an environment where you can audition. You know what I'm saying? Like, luckily for me, I, I live in Hollywood, so I never had to relocate and do a big move to get to where I wanted to be. Right. But if you are somewhere, you know, that is not the best, let's say, for being an actor, a musician, or a dancer, then you might have to, to, to think twice and say, okay, listen, do I really want to do this? Is it really a passion? Am I really committed to it? And you might have to make the leap and, and you know, drop things to really advance your career. I'm not saying leave school. I'm not saying any of that, because all that is very important. Mm-hmm. I was always in college classes when I was in high school, which helped me graduate a year early. Oh, okay, okay. So I've definitely studied, and I've taken a lot of classes. So I'm not saying jump ship, but at the same time, you have to prioritize. You know, if something's really important to you, you find time to get it done. Mm-hmm. So put yourself in a position to where you can go out for parts if, if you want to be an actor, you know, and, and, and stay committed to it. Mm-hmm. Don't give up just thinking just because you didn't book your first couple roles. I've gone out for so many castings. I mean, you'll go out for 10 and maybe book one. You'll go right. out for 20 and book none. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it yeah. just doesn't happen all the time. But when it clicks, it clicks. And then right. the right person and casting person can believe in you and then it could be your breakout role. That's right. Yeah, don't, don't get discouraged then, huh? Yeah, you know, always just, So you said, tell them to follow their passion, follow their dreams. Uh, yeah, keep doing that. Because you know what, me, myself, you know, I I'm, I'm do my talk show. I, I'm, I'm fairly new to the scene, but I have a mm-hmm. passion to talk to people like yourself, interest people like yourself. And, you know, and I'm older, gentlemen, and living mm-hmm. a dream that I have talking to people doing my talk show. So I, I, yeah, I understand absolutely. what you're saying. Same thing. You have to just do it. Like, I remember I was on, you know, the radio for a while. I was mm-hmm. actually on Foxhole Radio, which is on Sirius XM, yes. the Fox's channel. And, you know, um, I'd always loved radio, but it, it kind of fell in my lap. A friend of mine was doing a show, and she wanted some of her girls to be with her. And next thing you know, I was on the show for two years, and I loved it. Wow. You know, and that helped me develop a lot of, you know, hosting skills and, you know, talking skills. Even though I was already acting and singing, it was just... It was great to be on the radio once a week and get to talk to people about, you know, what was on my mind. And we talked about, you know, everything mm-hmm. from, you know, relationship issues to career to, you know, financial advice, anything, you name it, we, we pretty much covered. So absolutely, how you're sticking to your dream and, and getting it done, everybody has to do the same thing. And just know that it's not always going to be handed to you. You have to go get it yourself. Yes. Like you said, you wanted a radio show, so you started one. You know, it's, 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 it's easy nowadays to, to at least get it started with, with YouTube, with Google. You can do a search and figure out how to be a host. Mm-hmm. Boom. Thousands of results will come up. So definitely do your research on what it is that you want to do and, and full-fledged go for it. Exactly. Oh, man. You, that's a wonderful advice, uh, Portia. And, uh, yeah. and, and I know you're into the dancing. And, uh, and so you dance with other, other uh, famous dancers or, or do you cry? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, for a lot of the projects, like I said, I either work directly with the directors or other dancers. But yeah, I mean, if people look up, I mean, my very, very like first music video was um, a Kirk Franklin video I did when I was like 12 or 13 mm-hmm. as an actor. And then I went right to doing uh, a Little Flip was one I did. And then my probably breakout one had to be On Fire with Billy Banks and 50 Cent. Oh, wow. And yeah, it was it was crazy. I actually found the job on, on Craigslist, which mm-hmm. is so 
random, you know. No, that's random. Craigslist more. So random. I didn't even trust it to begin with either. I just saw a cat and said they're looking for a female dancer, you know, located in California, available mm -hmm. to submit pictures and, you know, possible video. And I just sent a little video of me dancing that was online and a couple photos. And they said, great, you know, we want to book you and, you know, come to set tomorrow. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going by myself in case mm -hmm. this is something crazy. So, of course, I took my mom and yeah. it was actually at a studio. And next thing you know, I'm like, who is this artist? Because they would not tell us. Like, it seemed to be so under wraps who the yeah. artist was. And yeah. I remember going into the wardrobe room and I just saw a ton of New York gear. Like, the white beaters, the shorts, the New uh -huh. York hats. And I'm like, okay, this is somebody on the East Coast. Yeah. And then I heard a voice and I was like, I recognize this voice. And I turned around, it was 50 Cent, and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> hey, I was like, I love him. Yeah. Like, you know, talented, and who yeah. knows? And yeah. next thing you know, it was a song on fire, and I did the video. And right after, I remember him, you know, calling my team and saying that he wanted to, to, to book me for other stuff. So I ended up doing Summer Jam with him. Then I did Candy Shop. Another music video with him and Olivia, okay. and then the BT Awards. So, like I said, if you get with the right person, they can hire you for many other jobs besides the one that you even go in for. So, oh, you just yeah. have to stay dedicated. Yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. Now, see, I know you have like a uh, agent, a booking agent. She's a nice person. Uh, uh, Ferguson, Fergus, what's her name? Thank you. Yeah, Heidi. Yeah, yeah Heidi. She's a... I had agents. Like I said, the, the best thing that you have to have is an agent oh, yeah. representing you. I have, you know, a commercial agent, like a dance agent, and yeah. a theatrical agent. And then, you know, I have a, a PR that can, you know, it's just you always want to have people in your corner that can look out for you and basically help you get more mm -hmm. work. And mm -hmm. that's really what people have to have if they really want to do it. Because you're not going to have time to do everything by yourself. Even though I know how to, I know how to edit reels. I know how to. I mean, literally, you'd be surprised. I'm such a computer nerd. Like, wow. any reels that you've seen online, I did. Um, a lot of headshots from, you know, ed editing, Photoshop, you name it. Like, I can do all that just because I just got tired of having to wait for people. Yeah. You know, you have to learn how to be self-contained. So I definitely uh, have been doing that for many years. I know. Now, you know, you have a wonderful uh, Facebook page, too. I must say that. Beautiful oh, Facebook you. page. I, I love it. And so, but thank now, you. Could, you, could you kind of share with us, Anything that the people out there don't even know anything about you? You got any hidden talents that people know about? Anything different you can you, you can just give to a lifestyle? <laughs> just an exclusive yeah. anything? Oh, that's funny. So if anybody that like follows me, um, like on Twitter, which is my Twitter handle is at Portia Coleman, uh -huh. and even on Facebook it's Portia Coleman Official. Anybody that really knows me knows that I'm a huge sports fan. Okay. So when it comes to my basketball, I am that girl. Even the sports <laughs> in general, like. Basketball, football, I am your girl for any sort of updates. I mean, they even hashtag Porsche Center on Twitter. So, like, it's like now if I say something, it's hashtag Porsche Center if it's about sports. So it's like Porsche is giving the Sports Center updates, so it's uh -huh. Porsche Center on, <laughs> on Twitter. So I think people will be really surprised if I know how much I know about basketball. Like, you know, just like even yesterday, if you look at my whole feed, yeah. you know, for like three hours, it was nothing but, you know, Steph Curry, LeBron tweets and talking about the game. So that's one of my hidden passions is to, to do a show like Sports Center or Sports Nation or First Take, you know, as one of the, you know, the females that are on there and she knows what she's talking about. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Now you could be yeah. doing that, girl. You're a beautiful woman, you know. And, Thank you. And, and I, come on, girl. I mean, we're looking at you right now and you're a beautiful young lady and um, so talented, Portia. And man, Thank you. like I said, I'm really you. just so grateful that you uh, allowed you to call in and talk to people out here in Iowa about definitely. what you're doing. You of know? course. No, I definitely can't wait. Um, I mean, even a, a friend of mine that knows from Iowa, he's actually on the Warriors, Harrison Barnes. So when I saw the area code, I'm like, oh, that's yeah. Iowa, yeah. you know? So I've never been, but um, definitely at one point I would love to come there. Oh, yeah. And and girl, you have to come on, live on the show. You have to come down to yeah, the show. You're invited to absolutely. the show anytime, young lady. I mean, uh, our people out here would just love to see you and see you Absolutely. do your thing, perform and whatnot. Um, well, I appreciate it. And definitely, if you guys want to know more about me, go on my website. It's PortiaColeman.com. And mm -hmm. my Twitter is at Portia Coleman. Facebook, Portia Coleman Official. And now on Instagram, it's at Portia Coleman. Portia Coleman. Well, you know, I, well, I'm a fan. I'm a follower now. Oh, thank you. Girl, I'm a <laughs> follower you now. now. Now, now, I got to say this now. Maybe it's kind of personal, but I know you got to have some uh, 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 extra person in your life, somebody special. Ah, uh, that's funny. Um... <laughs> No, there's no what? special. I mean, I have many special people in regards to, like, my close family, like my mom and my brother. But what as far the as heck a is going on? special boyfriend, no. I, it's 
tough. It's, it's tough when you're busy, and then, too, it's, it's Los Angeles, so it's like everybody is kind of uh-huh. grinding and trying to get to where they have to go. So right. to me, it's like I'm not the type who just feels like, okay, I need to be in a relationship yeah. just because. Yeah. It's like if you don't have time to dedicate time to the relationship and grow it and develop it mm-hmm. to be something special and organic, then it's not going to have a chance. So why yeah. waste your time? Yeah, because, because <laughs> you know what? You, you got a fan in the background. Boy, he's uh, cheesy to eat here, so he's, he, he, he's in the music business, too, so he, he, he might say, okay, I might be the next person to talk to this uh, guy. You never know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like you never know what's out there, but at the same time, it's like people just overcommit themselves. If you know yeah. you're busy, you don't yeah. have a lot of time, then, you know, definitely be careful who you, you know, entertain. Because yes. someone might be feeling that it's more serious than what it is, or mm-hmm. they might feel that they don't want something to be more serious. People just have to be on the same page. So exactly. So whether you're in a relationship or not, it's like just make sure that you guys are in accord so where there's no misconceptions or people you know getting off to the wrong track because mm-hmm. that's when people start disliking each other it's oh. all over miscommunication all right like, without a doubt you, if you don't talk. have time to deal with it then don't even bother exactly young lady exactly now, now, now what's your what's your favorite color my favorite color would have to be silver. I okay. love silver. I love the metallic. It's 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 a gorgeous mm-hmm. silver, but then also I love like a sky blue. So it makes it oh. together, and it's just it's just pretty. You say sky blue? <laughs> that, that, girl, yeah. that's my favorite color right there. Yeah, oh, sky blue. We got something in common. I love that pastel blue, and then like I said, the silver has it. a nice bling to it. So yeah, those are my two favorites. Oh, okay. That's okay. Okay. So you know, sometimes I throw off 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 the common type thing. So now, what you have to eat today? I actually had a smoothie. I love doing, uh, I love, I'm oh. really big into health. So I actually have like a Nutribullet, so where you can blend yes. like any vegetables. So I blend kale, and then I had like frozen bananas, oh, and peaches, and all kind of, and it's like literally 85 degrees here right now in L.A. So it's one of yeah. those hot days yeah. so where yeah. I'm like, I'm not starving right now, but I want to make something to drink. So make a nice little smoothie and pop in some chia seeds and uh-huh. seed, and it's like you get your, you know, your nice little kickstart yep. for the day. And then, you know, a little later I might grab something. But, yeah, I don't I don't like feeling full, you know. I'd yeah. rather feel like I have more energy when I'm slightly hungry mm-hmm. or right on the verge when I want to grab something. But as far as, like, being completely stuffed, then I just, that just makes you want to go sleep. <laughs> well, girl, you are a man after my own heart. You're a girl after my own heart, really. Oh, I can say that. Because I you. love that. I love women that's that health conscious and, and uh, take care of themselves and, you know, and doing positive things. That's what, you. you know, my show's about, having positive Thank people you. on my show Thank and stuff. So I, I love it. So, uh, hey, girl, I mean, you know, we could talk all day. I mean, you... you <laughs> I could talk to you all day. I can all night, really. But, uh, I mean, there's so many different things that you've done. I mean, you've done New Girl. You've done The Parkers. You've done Bone. You've done Seven Heaven, uh, My my Wife and Children. Uh, and I hear that you're a comedian. Now, what's that, what's that about? <laughs> That's funny. Well, yeah, I've actually done a lot of TV parts where I was cast as a comedian. I guess I can be pretty darn funny, which I which I love because I love improv and being a ham. But um, yeah, a couple of years ago, I was on season four of Wild and Out. I was on the mm-hmm. cast, so mm-hmm. I remember auditioning over the MTV building, and they said they just wanted you know an original comedy sketch and then a couple celeb impersonations. And you know, I did a few, and I, like a week later, they said, oh yeah, you know, come by a location so we can test you out. And next thing I know, I was literally on the stage. It was like not a test. It was more oh. like, yeah, we're filming. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so, like, oh, or yeah, it was really cool, but I had a great time. Like I said, Wild and Out is a great show. I'm still friends with a lot of the producers, and uh-huh. they actually used to tape in Los Angeles, but now they do a lot of stuff based out in New York. So they have a lot of the um, fine stars and different people yeah. that are, you know, guest appearing on there. But I did really cool episodes. I did an episode with, a, like, a Red Man. He was mm-hmm. on okay. uh, my team that season, and then also Serena Williams was on an episode that I did. So, yeah, I've done a lot of... Funny comedy work, like I said, from the Parkers to Wife and Kids, all that kind of good stuff. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Wow. Laugh out loud, and I enjoy it. Oh, wow, girl. You, I mean, see, there you go. You're committed. You, you make people laugh. I love it when <laughs> women, you know, uh, they don't take themselves seriously and, and have uh, humor about themselves. And so, girl, you're a perfect girl. You're a perfect woman. Oh, thank you. Yes, you are. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> thank but, you, guys. Yeah, no problem. And the viewers love you out here. So, um, I mean, now... I'm thinking, about, I'm thinking about doing a part, getting a, a script together, and I'm going to send it to you because I don't want you to be a part of that. If I send y'all something, 
hey, listen, everybody's, everybody's on their own grind. That's like right. I said, I, you know, we're on my minds. I'm on mine. You know, keep it going and, and don't stop what you have going, uh -huh. from, whether it's production or, you know, hosting, you name it. Just always stick to it. And, and at some point, your your break is going to happen. Just, just stick with it. Yes. Absolutely. Now, this is, this is a good break for me because you coming on the show. I mean, you're doing this interview, uh, even out in, in uh, Los Angeles and whatnot, and uh, uh, taking your time off your busy schedule. Uh, I'm gonna say shout out to, to like say to your to your booking agent to Heidi. I tell her I appreciate you, you know her doing no that. No problem. Yeah, doing Absolutely. that. Absolutely. You know. No, I appreciate it. Like I said, it's it's like it's a two way street. You know, you just like you wanted to interview me, I wanted to be a part of it. So, thank you guys so much out there in uh -huh. Iowa and everywhere else in the world that you guys are listening to right now. And definitely yes. follow me and say hi. Let me know you heard the interview, and I'll definitely give you a follow and a shout yeah. back. Yeah. Oh, um, girl, I believe me. The love. That's right. Because it's gonna be on my <laughs> I YouTube. Definitely yeah, it's going to be my YouTube channel, and uh, that's going to, I have my own YouTube channel, so that's going to be on there forever, and awesome. we're going to have this show aired out here in Iowa um, probably uh, this Friday, so what I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you a, a DVD copy of the show for yourself. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. That would be great. I'll have yeah. her get in contact with you. And, you know, again, yes. thank you guys for listening, and congrats to you on, on having your show and getting everything done, and uh, when I plan on being in Iowa, I'll definitely give you guys a shout. That's right. Give me, that's right. So, <laughs> girl, you got my number. You got my number I now. I know. Okay, don't Sounds be afraid good. to use it. Ain't no, I'm thank putting a plug in there. <laughs> I know, right? No, I appreciate it, guys. Thank you, and, and I hope to see you guys in chat soon. Yes, yes, and, and thanks a lot for doing the show, and, and a thousand blessings to you and, and your career. I know it's going to be a long, long career, and um, you're so talented, and um, it's a beautiful, beautiful woman inside and out. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good luck to you, too, and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, talk to you later. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye, 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 Portia. Take, take care. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> Everybody heard that, you know, the interview with Portia. It was a wonderful interview with her. Uh, wow. Um, such a talented woman. And what can I say about, about the young lady? She's talented. And she gave some advice about other people out there, young people out there that try to have dreams and goals that don't never give up your passion. Continue to have your dream. Continue to have your goals. Continue to make it happen. Be on your grind and do it and do it and do it. Don't never stop doing it because if you stop, it's gone. You, I believe there's a man, a person without a dream, it's a person without a future. You always got to have dreams. Keep dreaming. Dream to the stars. And um, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed my interview with, with, uh, with Portia here. Um, you know, check her out on her Facebook page, as you said, and also on Twitter. And now you know a little bit about her, about her little little things that she does. She's a, she's a, a, a basketball fanatic. She loves basketball. Who would think? So, and you know, I, I think I'm about to wrap up the show tonight. Um, like I said, I want some feedback on the topic guests that I have on the show. So right here, right me at the Lyle Style Show, uh, um, Lyle Style Show, PATV, Care of Lyle Style Show, 206 Lafayette Street, I think 52240. So yeah, write me some feedback about what you think about the guests that I have, and what you think about what they're doing, and, and maybe you give up your own uh, interview. Maybe you can come on the show and, and, and talk to me and whatnot, and talk about what you're doing, because everybody has a story to tell. And I might want to hear your story right here on the Loud Style Show. So I love y'all. Thank you for watching my show. Thank you for, for being nice to me. Allow me coming to your homes every Friday night and on YouTube. As closing, I want to say, keep styling and profiling. Never give up your dreams. I love y'all. Bye. Out of here. <laughs>